Let's put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome our own first Haitian American president of the City Council Chamber of Boston. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Pastor Kiki. Bonsoir tout le monde. Uh, I'm so happy to be with all of you. Um, it's an honor for me to be able to celebrate Haitian Heritage Month. Um, and just hearing uh, what the teachers were saying, it is so true. It is so important that we are passing on our culture and our language to our young people. Um, it is because of my father that I am able to stand here as someone who was born here. And was, I was just, you know, I didn't have the Toussaint Louverture Academy. There wasn't that when I was in school. And what I had was my father, who made sure every week we would have family meetings. And every week in those family meetings, we would have to read Timalis. And that's how we learned how to read Creole, we learned how to write Creole, um, and we learned how to speak it. That's why I'm toujours dit moun même le lang la lu, lang la la. I know you guys are tired of me saying that, but that's my thing. Um, and that's what I credit my father for, you know, and it's not uniform in my family. I have some cousins where their parents didn't teach them Creole and they grew up wanting to learn that. So I encourage everyone to just do your best in making sure that that part of the, the language and the culture is passed on. Now, there are some things that I can't do. You don't want to come to me for the best D.I. John John, right? But there are things that it's really important that we pass on to our young people. So I'm so excited to be here. Um, I'm so excited to be here with um, uh, members of uh, the Boston City Council, with Councilor Enrique Pepin, with Brockton City Council at large, Jean Bradley de Renoncourt, and with so many of you. I was just saying to myself, I haven't seen Jovan Lasset in so long. And I'm here and I get to see Jovan. So hi, Jovan. Um, and hi, everyone. Thank you, of course, to Michelle Denis, the liaison, uh, uh, the cultural liaison for the city of Boston to the Haitian community, and uh, my sister, Gladys Oliveira who is the city's Latino liaison, and who is really, really, truly a sister to the Haitian community. So I just want to make sure everyone in here knows you, Gladys Oliveira. Stand up so that people know you. Michelle. <laughs> You have come to jump, jump. I appreciate that you work here. You do that to do it. You do that to do it. So I'm in my second term as a Boston on the Boston City Council. My first, uh, yes, uh, my first as a City Council President, and it is um, uh, an honor to get to be, be in this role. And I think about how God really called me to be in this role in this moment and at this time, as our people, as we see every day coming to Boston as we see new arrivals struggling, as we see the potential of our community with the Toussaint Louverture Cultural Center, as we see our, our communities getting so much more attention, even when sometimes the work is, is heavy, I'm not going to lie to you, right? Because you know they come to me on every Haitian issue and trying to find solutions and problems and working on every level with the governor, with our senators, to try to find solutions to some of these hard issues. Uh, last two weeks ago, all of the Haitian elected officials from around the country were here in Boston uh, through the National Haitian American Elected Officials Network as we strategize about how we use our power on calls with the White House to really make sure that we are uplifting not our voices, but the voices of the people in Haiti. And so we are going to continue to do that. We are going to continue to work together to try to make sure that we can restore the glory of Haiti as a first country, first free black re republic in the Western Hemisphere, as the only country in the world until this day, the only country founded as a result of a slave revolt. That is legacy, that is history, that we carry with us all of the time, that we carry with us here in the United States. When United States freedom, we have Haiti to thank for the folks who came and fought in Savannah in the American Revolution before Haiti itself was free. So our histories are intertwined. We've been demanding for the United States to be a better ally to Haiti, 
to finally put the needs and economic interests of the Haitian people before all else. So that's what we're going to continue to do. I'm a city councilor, so I, I work on potholes, I work on lights, I work on Kija Kalite Le Colio, Simon Bezekai, Mem Tavayo si su problem Kenugen, no community panum, Tavay su problem Aisi Paske se problem se problem panum. So I'm just really grateful that I get to be here. You know, in, even in a month like May, where we are celebrating uh, Haitian Heritage Month, and, you know, even me, I'm like, should we find moments of joy when there's so much suffering, when there are so many migrants coming, when there's so much suffering back in Haiti. And it, we owe it to ourselves and to our ancestors to not only find moments of joy, but to realize that that's what we owe ourselves as we do the work. So my office has put out an entire calendar of things that are happening this month of events. Um, we have, of course, the flag raising on next Friday, May 17th at noon. We hope to see you all there at City Hall. Last year, it was a beautiful sight. No other community has had a larger fun, uh, flag raising than we had. And so I hope to see you all next Friday. But on Monday, we'll be having a conversation led by Professor Regine Jean uh, Charles at Northeastern entitled Haiti Peri. It's a Haitian community conversation about what's going on in Haiti. Next week, some of us will be gathering with our senator to problem solve and strategize and use her advocacy to uplift the issues in Haiti. We have uh, the Haitian uh, HAU parade on Sunday. Who's going to be there? Okay, everybody, everybody, okay. Um, that's the 19th, right? I'm sure other people, Marjorie and Wilna, will talk about it, but the parade, I expect to see you all there Sunday, May 19th, um, starting at 12.45 p.m. from Mattapan Square. Well, of course, who bought tickets to the Red Sox game? Okay, um, we will see you there on the 24th of May, the first ever Red Sox-Haiti matchup. And um, we have special jerseys, so we must find times to celebrate ourselves, even in the painful and the hard moments. And I know so many people in this room who have shown up for our communities. Everyone from Deputy Superintendent Eddie Crispin, who with uh, the Haitian law elected, uh, the Haitian law enforcement community went out and continue to go out to the shelters, the migrant shelters, to serve them. To Jean-Claude Sanon, to everybody who is here in the ways that we are lifting up our brothers and sisters. We really have to always uh, make sure that we are living through the mantra of our country. And we have to get better at that. I always say that what I care about and what Cindy Dejust, who is my director of constituent services, you all know Cindy, um, that we are really focusing on the work. What does that mean? It means that we are responsible. No one else, us, in this room, fellow Haitians, us, we are responsible for ourselves, for our community, and our country. And how do I know that? Because that's what happened in 1791. No one gave us a gift. And no one is going to give us a gift today. It has to be us in our collective advocacy. So I just want to thank you because so many of you knew come to jump avec moi from the very beginning, most likely because of my father, but hopefully now it's also because of me. New come to jump avec moi pour parce que me pas senti seul, parce que nous tout là comme avec So thank you so much.